Hey there, Doers, welcome back. In today's video, we are going to dive into an essential aspect of your e-commerce store, organizing your product catalog. Now, whether you're offering a few items or a whole range of products, category organization is key to making your catalog easy to navigate and helping your customers find what they're looking for faster. So let's get started. Okay, so here we are on our e-commerce app, and what we're gonna do is click on the e-commerce tab and just go to e-commerce categories. Now, this is where we can find all our e-commerce categories. Here, for example, we sell already designed pieces, which is a category that you can see here, but I'd also like to sell customizable pieces. So for that, let's create a new category. So first, for the name of the category, I'm gonna say it's called customizable pieces. And then I set the parent category as t-shirts and shirts. Jason, could you just explain what is a parent category, actually? Yes, of course, Suza, that's a good question. Well, the parent category is, in our case, t-shirts and shirts. And the child category is customizable pieces. So what this means is that you can have only one parent category, but you can have an unlimited number of children. Let me show you. If we go back, you see that I have an other child, which is designed pieces over here. Now, if we go back to the customizable pieces, we can add a description. For example, your canvas made real. Now, finally, we can add a picture to the category. So if we go here and edit, we just select the picture we're looking for, and there you go. Now, if we go back, we see that my new category, customizable pieces, is below t-shirts and shirts, and that the uh, design pieces is above. Now, the order of the categories here will be the same as on our catalog page. So if I want this category to be at the top, for example, this one at the top of my catalog, I simply need to drag and drop it, and there you go. All right, now let's see how to add products to our categories. So we go to e-commerce and then to products. And here we're gonna select a product, let's say the plain black t-shirt, and then we go to the sales tab. And once we're here, we only need to go to categories, and here we can select the category for our product. So in our case, we're gonna take the customizable pieces one. Now, let's see what this looks like on our catalog page. So let's go to our shop, and we see that we, it doesn't change anything because first we need to enable the category sections on our catalog. So for that, we're going to go to Edit, and then to the Customize tab. So we see here in the category section that we can either enable it to be on the left or on top, and we put both. So have it on both, um, uh, on both locations. Now, it's also possible to hide the children categories by collapsing here the categories. If I do it, the children over here disappear. But let's leave it like that. Now, we can also choose to modify some options like filter by attributes or by price or the product tags. Um, and we can also uh, modify the sorting here of the page. So it can be by newest arrivals or by price. And we're going to leave it to be sorted alphabetically. Okay, so if we save it, save it, sorry, we can see that now uh, we have our categories on the left and on top, and if I click on children, only those products that have those uh, categories tagged are shown. Like here in the customizable piece, it was only this product that we set up. Now, if we go back, let's say that we want to highlight some products. For example, this adorable white tee embroidered with love t-shirt, um, is something that I want to highlight because it is one of our best sellers. When I say highlight, I mean put a ribbon on it, like this one, and for example, this one. So to do this, all I have to do is go to Edit, and choose the product that we are interested in, and first thing I can do to make it more visible is actually make it bigger. For example, here in the size, we see that it only takes up one fraction, but I could say that it's four times four, and then suddenly, our picture is way bigger than the other ones. So that the, that's how that, uh, it catches the viewer's eyes. Uh, we can also uh, choose to move it to the left or move it to the, to the right. But in our case, we are just going to add a ribbon over here. Now we see that our ribbon, which is bestseller, doesn't exist yet. We have sale or sold out or out of stock, but that's not what we want. So what we're going to do is just create a new one by clicking on the plus button over here. We see that this ribbon has been added, and first thing that we're gonna do is change the name of the ribbon. So in our case, we are going to 
call it best seller. We're going to change the background color, uh, which we are going to take this lovely peach. And for the text, let's put it just in white. And there you go. Now we have other options, of course, uh, so you can change the color as you want. We can put it on the left or we can put it on the right. But in our case, I'm going to leave it on the left. Uh, so you can see right and left. So regarding the layout of this page, well, we have many options like changing the layout, for example. It can be grid or it can be list, which then appears like this. But in our case, I prefer to have it as a grid. Um, we can also change the style. For example, here we have cards, but it could be thumbnails, it could be a grid. It's very subtle, but it changes the way the images are shown. Um, and we can also change the image size. For example, if I want my, uh, it to be in a landscape format or by default or a portrait. In our case, we have vertical images, so let's leave it in the vertical style. Oh, and one more thing I want to show you is that if you want a search bar visible on your shop page because you have a lot of products, for example, well, you can simply add it by clicking here on the add header. And then if you go here in Elements, just click on the little spyglass and a search bar will appear over here. And that's it for this video. So make sure to read our online documentation for more info, and I'll see you in the next one.